another day, another dollar. So I'm starting my second day of tap. First day was pretty long, cold. That's why I brought the sweater. We were supposed to dress up as if we were going to an interview, but I saw people in t-shirts and sneakers. Some people were just throwing stuff together that would go on a nice looking, you know, attire. And so I'm slowly transitioning to that casual look. Another thing that they said on the first day was uh, how life changes, you know, not having to be on call all the time. The way you dress definitely changes aside from just being in the uniform. So for some people, it's more freeing, you know, being able to dress into regular civilian attire. Uh, another thing they pointed out was that some people lose a sense of purpose or identity when they separate from the military. I feel being in the military, I've lost my identity and I recognize what I want to be my purpose and meaning and what I want to give and, and accomplish in my life. And that is one of the reasons I'm getting out. But I, I felt I lacked identity and purpose while being in the military, at least for myself. Um, so we're starting the second day. Sun's coming out. It feels beautiful. It feels great outside. It's warm, nice little breeze. I'm, I'm sure it's going to get hotter. But if the building's as cold as it is, it probably won't bother me. All right. So I just made it home. Uh, today was short. It was, well, by a couple hours, it was a bit shorter. We had just one presenter. As she's going to be with us for the rest of the week. She's really good at presenting. Not to say the other guys, were, the other two or three people from yesterday weren't, but she just, she has had a charisma that was really well with what she was presenting. Today, she went over the fundamentals of like employment and getting a job. She, she had these, this, these steps to follow. First, it's uh, planning, then it's prepping. So planning, figure out your job, what's your career, what do you want? What are, you, what are your goals outside of this uh, once you separate from the military? Then prepping, preparing, like getting a resume ready, figuring out the skills you have, figuring out what skills you've gotten from being in the military, your experiences, what education do you have, what certifications you have so that for when you apply, next step would be apply. And then through uh, and part of applying was networking and building a good LinkedIn account. And I already have a LinkedIn account, but the information she gave me definitely helped in improving that LinkedIn account. I do have to change my picture, I realize. It's such an old picture. Well, about three years old, but it, I look relatively different. She went into the interview and then into deciding whether you're going to take the job or not and negotiating, you know, your salary your hours, where you're going to work because maybe some jobs are remote or they're split 50-50. Maybe they're at different locations or the possibility to travel. So into these different things, she showed us websites that find jobs based off this a keyword. So business, for me, I put business. And instead of just finding basic stuff, it listed every job that had the word business in it but also jobs that were reworded. So I put in business analyst and it had a job that didn't even have business or analyst in it, but it was a similar job to what business analyst is, if not the same, but it's just talking about how different careers or different organizations or companies may reword, you know, something. It's the same job. It's just worded differently. It's a different phrase, a different term. Which makes sense because that happens a, a bit. Uh, she did really good at presenting all of that. Again, it gets it sometimes gets tiring sitting down all day, but the information is still good. Just like yesterday, it was still good. Today, I found it more beneficial, and then I uh, maybe it was just the experience was better because I, I thinking about it, a lot of the information yesterday was really good. I said the finance stuff was really nice. But it just, it was very, it felt like it dragged yesterday with the finance and it was really tiring. And again, I was cold. So I really like today's one. Uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm not sure what she's going to do. I know we have to do, a, we're doing a mock interview tomorrow or not tomorrow, but Thursday. And tomorrow she wants us to present early in the morning, like present ourselves, introduce ourselves. I'm not sure how. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm always nervous presenting in front of people. But, you know, 
we'll see how that goes. She did uh, another thing in as far as introducing yourself. Like when someone says, tell me about yourself, how to present yourself within 30 seconds, right? Any other information they could tell you when they interview you. You're, you could tell them when you, you're being interviewed. And how to present yourself within 30 seconds. We practiced. Obvi apparently we were too long. And so you just got to work on that. And I thought that was really smart because there are moments where people say, tell me about yourself. And you blank out. A lot of us just blank out. First, it's because we're in front of all these people. Secondly, we just, what can we say that's going to attract, get their, keep their attention, attract their attention, get them interested in who we are, right? Not just in getting a job, but in life, right? Because even when we meet friends and they say, tell me about yourself, we blank, we seem to blank out and we're, what do we pick first? And either we end up rambling like I am now, or we do not say enough. Uh, so yeah, I wish some of this information was provided pr earlier i sort of understand why because it's it's preparing you for a career outside of the military when we want you to join the military if you choose to stay in there's no reason to have it but i think i would have figured out a lot of what i want to study what i what career paths i want to go down because now i'm i'm just thinking okay so now this is what i'm going to do now and my plans change and it's not me panicking but it's more so me saying saying all right so i had these things that i wanted to do i didn't know what order to do them in or i didn't know what i should do or which one i should approach first but this has helped me in like all right i definitely want to do this i definitely do not want to be a part of this so i'm going to do this and then pursue this afterwards for sure because I want to get to this. I got a lot of help from that. And it, it helps. I also like that with TAP, they're not approaching you with telling you to rethink, you know, rethink separating or consider extending, stuff like that. Because there are a lot of times in the military when you say you think about getting out or you don't, you're not happy in the military or it's not for you and you want to pursue another career, people do say a lot to try to, as if you're making a bad choice and wanting to get out or it's the wrong decision. They tell you why. They make it feel like it, everything's financial. It has to do with money and, and job security and, say, and wanting to ask what are you going to do so they can belittle you or downplay or devalue your goals. Uh, one person got yelled at when they said they wanted to get out by someone else. And so I, I feel that it's it's nice having this environment, especially when everyone's getting out, right, in that environment. So we're all, we're ready. We understand what the military offers. We respect people that are in. We appreciate what we've gotten, the experiences, the skills, the opportunities, especially the opportunities and the benefits, of course. But now we're ready to move on. Some people may extend or may re-enlist after TAP, right? Because there, there's a lot of time. I, If I wanted to change my mind, potentially, I, let's say I change my mind six months from now. It can happen because I'm not separating for another year. But it was nice that we are in the mindset currently to separate and move on to a different chapter in our lives. And... I like that. I like it, you know? And it, it they did bring up yesterday that it's important to just tell people you're getting out. Instead of trying to hide it, just tell people you're getting out. Some people say, I was told even not to tell anyone because they, you may lose opportunities on TDY, which is like being able to train or do a job elsewhere. Like they'll pay for you to travel somewhere and just and be there for a little bit, which is nice. Or you'll miss opportunities to lead something or be a part of a program but they said it doesn't matter you're getting out right you're get out so be honest get out and tell people you're getting out do not hide it and i realized yeah why 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 do i want this if someone who's staying in wants it give them the opportunity because they can apply it to their career much better than maybe i can because I do not want to do what I'm doing in the military on the outside world. So 
that is all I have for today. The day was slightly shorter as far as that goes, the course goes, which is nice. I'm about to do some schoolwork, eat, relax a bit. I think I have to go shopping and buy some clothes because we have to do a mock interview and they told us to wear dark colors. Obviously, I'm not a dark colors. I think I have a gray button-up shirt. We'll figure it out. You all have a great day and take care of each other. Peace.